<laughs> I like girls with bullet wounds and tattoos on their neck. As long as they're cute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Rico and Mambo Morning Show. Create Empire Recording Artists. We got Razkaz in the house. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. What's thanks up, for having man? me, y'all. What's up? Oh, thanks for waking up early, man. I know how hard it is. I, we, we've been doing this for years, and it's still hard for us, bro. I didn't even do it in junior high school, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, third period is when I got to school. <laughs> What's your favorite subject? Lunch. <laughs> Gangster. <laughs> hey, so the new album, uh, Barmageddon. Uh, Barmageddon. Bar- like Armageddon, Barmageddon, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, you got a lot of great artists featured uh, on this album, man. Uh-huh. You got Kendrick Lamar, Talib Kweli, Too Short. Ice-T. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, some other people, I, f- I forgot them. Uh, Bishop, Bishop Lamont, I always got to shout out my brother from CR since, so shouts out. Hey, so you, you, I mean, not to make you sound old or anything, because we're <laughs> old, but you've been in the game for a long time, man. I'm like the Macaulay Culkin of rap. I started this, <laughs> I started this as a baby boy, man. So it's funny because, yeah, I've been doing this for about, I mean, professionally for pretty much half my life. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, 15 years or whatever. So, yeah, and it, and it's yeah. not a lot of artists can say that, man, but you know, and you, yeah. and you've worked with the, with a lot of the greats and you know, yeah. your your music, I mean, yeah. I mentioned it to a couple of, uh, of of our DJs that you were stopping by and they're like, "D Rascas, like <laughs> is there a fake one or what that I don't know about?" So, <laughs> maybe on Twitter or Facebook. <laughs> but no, we got the Rascas in the house. Yeah, there's a couple of Rascas <laughs> on Instagram. So, so what uh, how has the music changed in your eyes from when uh, you first started to to, you know, the artists that are out there now? Um, really just the internet, you know, to me. I think for the most part, the internet allows people uh, more access into the business. So right. You can kind of force your issue. Um, and then, uh, you know, everything's a little more electro-oriented now. Right. EDM. But, you know, I'm not mad. I always liked a lot of different kinds of music. So I was always kind of taking my influences and trying to put them into my music. It, it, um, now that just seems to be more in the forefront. So you know, I, and, and, I'm sorry, and the rappers got whacker. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not N- gonna lie. Name one rapper that got whacker. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so when you uh, w- when you started getting into the game, who were some of the people that you looked up to? Like, that's who I want to be like. You know, the 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 Tupacs and the Big Puns and the Nas's and the Rock Kims and you know whatever. Just right. Rap was pretty much a pretty small clique of people. You know, you could pretty much, you know, maybe even up until about 12 years ago, you kind of knew what was coming out every right. month. You know, um, it's just a lot more flooded. It's inundated. So, um, you know, I, I liked rap, period. So where are you originally from? Where did you grow up? I'm at? born and raised. I'm a West Coast kid. I'm a first generation. My family is from uh, my mama's from Louisiana. My daddy's from Arkansas. But I'm born and raised right here in Watts and C. Arson. City North of Long Beach, Southwest of Comp. All right, so the new album, uh, Barmageddon, make sure you preview it and purchase it at iTunes. Who's one of those people that you've worked with that you're saying, like, man, I wish I could work with that person again? Um, I always say, to be perfectly honest, my favorite experiences were, uh, you know, because I'm a, I'm a writer, I'm a rapper. Uh, you know, it's always producers. So, like, working with Quick, you learn so much. Working with Premier, Dr. Dre, like, those people brought different things out of me in a, in a session where, you know, that I can still apply today. Um, nice. So I, I always enjoy that. Just battle cat, just dope producers, period. At that point, 96, I'm going to say that, you know, those were the years when West Coast music was running the business. Mm-hmm. How do you feel where West Coast music is at now? Um, Me personally, I always say, like, I hate when people say, like, oh, the West is coming back. I always feel like, you know, just because it's not... On the radio. The main thing on yeah. the radio doesn't mean it went somewhere. It just means, you know, either make better music or we need to do something to make sure that people are supporting home, you know. And the West Coast, specifically uh, Southern California, has always had a big problem supporting its own, which is why I really appreciate you guys, Q1047, specifically for, you know, for 
me, I'm not on a major label at this particular point. And even when I was on Capitol Records, it would be hard sometimes to get support from my own home team. Whereas up north or in the south or back east, they support their own off top. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't think we went anywhere. We just need to support each other first. You know what I'm saying? And stop riding so much out of town. So. All right. So make sure you uh, pick up the album <laughs> Barmageddon, uh, Razkaz on iTunes. And uh, once again, the Facebook is uh, Razkaz. The Twitter is Razkaz. Instagram, Razkaz. And uh, you could be a single mom with stretch marks. And three kids is your limit. Three kids and one bullet wound. <laughs> what about stab wounds? <laughs> stab wounds. <laughs> As long as they're on the thigh. I'm, I'm always afraid of the stab wounds. So they no, stab back. No stab wounds, lady. Sorry about that. He's got limits. Yeah, 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 I got standards here, bro. I got standards, bro. Hey, Raz, th- thank you so much, man, thank for uh, for dropping by. And uh, before before uh, we bounce, uh, we're going to play your uh, record with uh, Kendrick Lamar. And this one's called Focus. It's called Focus. It's my homeboy proverb. It's me, Kendrick's the third verse. And it's really a summer record, so... You know, it's for the West Coast. It's some real traditional West Coast music. Once again, salute. Thank you all, brothers. Hey, thank thank you, you very much, man. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Raz Cass!